ultimately are answerable to the people of this continent. It is completely against the principles of accountability to have an impotent parliament. A parliament that cannot approve the budget of our organization. A parliament that cannot hold to account the executives in our administration is not the kind of parliament the people of Africa envisaged, is not the kind of parliament our forefathers envisaged when constituting our union. Let me also say the following, that as nations, the whole reform agenda around the AU is a necessary imperative. It is not possible for us as states, as governments, to hold all the power and expect the African Union to function. We must be courageous enough, we must be bold enough to delegate some of the powers of our nations to the collective body of the Africa Union. That is what other progressive unions have done. It is not possible for us to continue to engage with the rest of the world the way we are doing. The budget of Africa Union, to a good extent, is funded by development partners. What does it say? about our ability to make our own decisions. It is said, he who pays the piper calls the tune. As things stand today, and I say this with tremendous respect, the Africa Commission Chair, the Africa Union Commission Chair, does not have what it takes to prosecute the agenda for our continent. We still hold all the power as heads of state and expect the union to function. It cannot function. We have to donate some of the power to the collective authority of the union. I had occasion. Let me explain to you something. I had occasion a few weeks ago to talk with a German chancellor. And he was explaining to me how Germany has donated matters trade, matters investment to the European Union. And they have immensely benefited by working together as 27 governments 475 million people. In our continent, we still want to keep all the powers in our little corners. How are we going to negotiate with EU as a country? You know, how are you going to negotiate? <clears throat> and this is the candid conversation we must have. The Africa, the Pan-African Parliament must operate at the same level as the European Parliament. If we have, if we have to engage with the European Union on a platform as equals, how does a country with 10, 20 million people engage with the European Union with 400 million, uh, five, four, 500 million people on equal footing. Is that a reality? You know, we, we just must be honest to ourselves. The globe is acting in concert. We cannot afford not to act together. 